Hi, I'm Mark. I've had my i3 for about two weeks. It's an amazing car. I'm really happy with it. When I ordered it, I knew it was going to come with some autonomous driving features, but I didn't think I was going to like them or really even use them. Parking assistant, though, surprised me. Now, you've got to understand, I've lived in big cities, New York, San Francisco, my entire adult life. I've learned how to parallel park in some pretty extreme circumstances. Before I got the car, I found a few videos online showing how the parking assistant works, but they're all shot in kind of controlled circumstances, with cars set up and plenty of room, no traffic on the roads around them. So it didn't feel like a real situation, and I wondered how useful it was gonna be in an actual city. Then I got my car, and I tried it on the streets of San Francisco, and I was just astounded. And I knew I had to make a video in the real world, so that's what I'm doing here. Now, a couple of things you need to understand. Unlike other parking systems, especially the older ones from other manufacturers, this one's fully automatic. When you want to park, you press the P button and drive. The system looks for an appropriate size space on both the left and right sides of the street at the same time. And when it finds a space, it signals you on the screen. You then turn on the turn signal, either left or right, and hold down the parking button. The car does everything else. It steers, it accelerates, it brakes, it changes direction, and it finally puts itself into park. I've used it about a dozen times on the streets of San Francisco, and every time the car has placed itself one to four inches away from the curb. It's just astounding. You've got to see it to believe it. Okay. <laughs> Release the brake pedal. You don't touch the steering wheel, you don't touch the pedals. Help the car behind you stops. Done. There we go. Parked in less than a minute. And well, just for proof of concept, there we go. Right there. <laughs>